and the worst retour, Cousin Review coming up. I'm Leo Knight and welcome to the concept review and this time it's the WASP, the 40th anniversary tour. But that's not all, it's also a 30th anniversary for the album The Crimson Idol. So this is about two in one. We will talk about the concert and review it, I'll also talk about the songs in there, about the show and everything. But just before we start, I want to take you inside the venue. Hello now, we are inside Rockefeller Music Hall. I'm just in the area of the merch. They promote the show not only with the 40th year anniversary, but also the undertitle Back to the Beginning. So what could we expect from Back to the Beginning? Well, they played uh, songs from the first four albums, the debut album, that have several names, but on this tour is named Winged Assassin, but it also did from The Last Command, Headless Children and The Crimson Idol. In the beginning, when you can see Black Lawless here, he chopped the meat. And he also in a concert he throw them raw meat at the audience, and he also drink the blood from the skull. So I was a little bit excited. Could we see this or not? So well, spoiler alert for you guys, it did not happen. Why? Well, the guy is about 66 years old, so I understand why he don't do that anymore. But what I do not understand is why did they promote it so much in the promotion when they wrote about the concert? We can see a little cut here from the Spotify. So what about the show when it was not the drinking blood from the skull or throwing meat at the audience or tormenting any ladies? Well, it was very good. Very professional made this one and I think we're gonna see some uh, some concert clip before we move on, so enjoy.
Tonight, that uh, I was talking about how long it took to put this tour together, and you guys have no idea what. And it wasn't just this band; it's every band. What we went through during this pandemic, it was a nightmare. It was booked over and over and over again. But it gives you time to think. And when you're going to do something like what we're doing right now, a 40th anniversary, this is a milestone. And For, for any band, and I don't care your last three, four, five years, that's still a pretty good career by most bands' measures. But if you do 10, 20, 30 years, that is always a testament of the fan support that that band has. And I want to thank you for the four decades of that support. set list he did on this tour it was a very good one they had the on your knees when they opened with and follow up with the flame line in texas i want to be somebody and the idol and the great misconception of me but i also did that in the three songs together and also the chainsaw the murder in the room more very good one so i put the three songs together from the crimson idol and made a little bit uh, a tribute i can say that since it was a 30th anniversary for the album. He also did a very controversial song that's made him, can I say popular or very, well, he got lots of public about it. That was the animal, F like a beast. He did a very good thing about this one. I really like that show because he took us really back in time, uh, back to when he went into the court, when he had a dispute with the Washington wives at that time. And what he did, he put some uh, live footage from the court and also some text to make some statement what did happen in the court. So that was very good. Maybe it was a little bit long because it was a little bit over two minutes. So you can see it in the live video in the description down below. 
and also in the end of this video there you also will see a full length video from the show about 42 minutes long he did not mention the word animal like a beast he let the audience say it the lyrics uh, So what's the conclusion about this show? Well, it was a very good one, so I give it a two thumbs up. Because the setlist was very good, only one thing I was missing, that's my preference, but it would be the title track, The Headless Children, and maybe also The Mean Man. It could be cool to have some guest artists with him, like Chris Holmes, Steve Riley, or Randy Piper, or maybe the long gone Tony Richards. I had a chemistry between Chris and Randy and Tony. Tony was stunning as a drummer performer tony was one of those five point guys looked great looked great in photos performed great you know could sing his ass off perform his butt off when we lost him we were mortally wounded and we knew it i'm a very big fan of wasp i just want to say you that in the conclusion here because the first time i saw them was uh, in 1989 in the headless children tour so I like Wasp, he did it very good, good live show and everything, the set list I have mentioned already was very professional and his story behind it was also good. Only the drawback was the backlights that we couldn't see him too much and also the promotion about the tour when this, well, we go really back to the beginning, the old show that they mentioned. If you want more Wasp, you can see this live video here from the concert and also more metal in this one. Thank you very much for watching my show. I'm Leo Knight, you've been great, and I hope to see you soon. Good night, Norway! Yeah. We're